There were 22 gardeners at Heligan. 16 of them died in the war. 80 years later, their names were discovered on the wall of a privy as the lost gardens were restored. And that really set up the whole um, cause of this place, um, looking at those names, celebrating those names, uh, and gardening this place in the, um, in the way that it would have been gardened in that Victorian and pre-First World War period. They proved the inspiration for this extraordinary production by Wild Works to honour all those from the area affected by the conflict. The production started at five o'clock this morning down by the harbour and throughout the day there have been ceremonies at war memorials and events have moved the action up here to the Lost Gardens of Heligan. Some of the cast have been in character for 12 hours. Many are locals, others professional actors. It's taken a huge effort to achieve. A huge amount of work, they've been working on it. I heard somebody say earlier on that they've been working on it for a year. They've been talking about it for a year. And then who knows what the logistics of it are, I, I have no idea. And the reaction you've been getting? Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Women and children had to take on the hard labour as their menfolk went to war. A war that was brought vividly to life. Among the audience, a retired army chaplain who'd seen at first hand the horrors of war. It's as real and as poignant now with what's going on in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Gaza, you know, and Palestine. Um, and war is war hurts, and it hurts the innocent, um, and it always will continue, and always be victims, and people will always have um, memories of war. And the man who discovered those gardeners' names was overwhelmed by the response to this one-off event. Almost everybody here, and there's about 5,000 people on the lawn and down the side here, uh, are our neighbours, and it's everybody sort of embraced it. And it's been very emotional because one of the really extraordinary things is that many of the gardeners who died here, the families still live around here. So the 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 the, the reading of the list at St. Yu and Goran and at Mevagisi were all attended by descendants of those who died, which is very poignant. And I'm not sure you'd see that in many parts of Britain that you've still got the families there. So it's been a very exciting and moving day. George Marshall, age 25. It was impossible not to be moved as the names of the fallen from the three parishes were read out and the men and women who had lived again, if just for one day, walked back into history. John Andrews, ITV News, Elegant.